Hey, bro, you want to know the craziest part about Ryan Lochte getting his career ruined by saying he got robbed at point? Is that he actually got robbed at point? Let me explain. See, Ryan Lochte had a problem. He liked to spice up his stories a little bit. So Ryan is swimming in the Brazilian Olympics. That's important. His mom comes to visit him. He said, girl, you won't believe this. She go, what, son? He go, I got robbed. She go, what? That's crazy. He go, yeah. She leaves. She runs into some dude. She go, man, you won't believe this. My son got robbed. The dude said, who your son? She go, Ryan Lochte. He go, swimmer Ryan Lochte, top two swimmer in the world. He ain't number two. Actually, he is number two. She go, yes. He go, you mean Ryan and Michael? Michael and Ryan, the only reason people is watching the Olympics right now. And this is no exaggeration. Back when these two boys was swimming, that's the only reason people was, no, a couple other reasons, but people was watching the Olympics. It was like when Usain Bolton and them was racing. You knew a record was about to get broken. Must see TV. Anyway, his mom says to bro, all right, I'm out slime. He go, all right, stay up. She go, bye. Wait, where you work? He go, I'm a reporter. She go, oh, they're finna be on the news, huh? He go, yo, headlines everywhere. Ryan got robbed. Ryan got robbed. Brazil dangerous. Ryan got robbed. Reporters start flocking to the island. They find Ryan. They say, Ryan, what happened? And when I tell you Ryan basically turns to soldier boy, soldier Ryan go, eh, that boy crazy. You know, them boys was coming out with the ting, right? Bah, 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 right? And I was like, hey, man, chill out. They said, get on the ground. My boys got on the ground, but I, I was up. I was standing up. I said, what, bro? What? He, he put the glizzy to mine. You know what I'm saying? And that boy cold. The Brazilian police come out and say, cap. Ryan go, well, of course, you always say that. See, what I forgot to mention was Ryan didn't just say anybody robbed him. He said the Brazilian police robbed him. No badges, no nothing. The Olympic committee looked at Ryan. They said, Ryan, you sure you want to stand on this? Ryan go, yes wrong answer the olympic committee comes out and says cap now there was a reason that the police and the olympic committee was locked in see people didn't want the olympics to be held in brazil they said brazil was too dangerous so this was not a good look the olympic committee and the brazilian police assured people we'll take care of them so the police come out with this videotape saying they look like they're having a good time when they came home from going out by the way they was out in a back Ryan go, I didn't deny we was going out. We was going out. The police say, you forgot to mention you was lit. Ryan go, everybody be drinking sometimes. No big deal. The police go, ooh, look a little closer to Ryan. Look what you put it in the metal detectors. That's your wallet, boy. Ryan go, and here's where things start to get wicked. The police arrest two swimmers that went out with Ryan before they got to the airport. Ryan got to the airport and flew to America. They said we would have got Ryan too, but it's okay. Them boy love to tell. Here's what actually happened. Ryan and his boys went out. Them boy were drinking. Them boys broke into a bathroom, started messing stuff up, then relieved themselves on the floor. And a security guard asked them to pay $50 in damages. The world loses it on Ryan, calling him privilege, all that. So Ryan does another interview. He says, at first, it was a translation issue. The translators came out and said, we was there to translate for you. He go, oh yeah, that's true. Uh, but most of what they said is what happened that night. But y'all not finna call me a liar. I exaggerate a little, sure. But they still brought out the ting and I feel like I got robbed because I didn't get into the bathroom that night. Listen, he said, when we was outside, we was trying to get into the bathroom. We was lit. It wouldn't open. I got mad and took down a sign that said, do not enter. So we relieved ourselves in the bushes security guard came told us to give them some money we gave them some money the translators came out said facts but ryan is the one that said he didn't want the police involved by the way the police say cap so they call a brazilian judge they say let's arrest ryan the judge said for what they said i don't like your tone the judge said in another thing when you guys said it wasn't a robbery i think you guys did that a little too quickly ah what if i tell you there were two liars that night See, videos start to come out, and it seems that what Ryan said the second time was true. When he got into the taxi, a security guard walks over to him. He pulls something in the car. Ryan and his team get out. They sit on the curb, and the security guard grabs his again. Ryan did not give him his wallet and all that, 
but they did give him some money. See, no one wanted this event to come out to light. Ryan gives dude some money, bro stays quiet, all good. But that's a bad look for the Brazilian police though, right? Bribery. So the police had to say that Ryan broke in and messed up the bathroom. When the news did their investigation and they found that Ryan and his team did not get into the bathroom. See, what they didn't tell anybody was the news literally went over there the next day went to the bathroom and saw that everything was pristine. Pristine like nothing was replaced. But here's the thing, when it came out the police were lying, this was already old news. People were upset at Ryan anyway, but it wouldn't have really mattered in the first place. People were more upset that he lied in the first place and that when he apologized, he said, this was all blown out of proportion, which is kind of true, but it doesn't make for a very good apology. So basically people were like, I don't care if you're telling the truth or not. I don't like you. 